What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys, and I hope everybody's doing well. I'm awfully excited about this build. This is like, to me, an epic, epic build with an epic, epic wire nest. So anyhow, now I've got to figure out how I'm going to get this guy into the server rack about six feet over there. Yeah. This is going to be challenging, but I have an idea. I believe you can see the table right here. This table is adjustable, and I can slide it from here to here onto the table. And I should be able to slide it down the table, move it a few inches, and get it into place. And filming this at the same time is definitely going to be a challenge. So bear with me, but hope you guys enjoy. All right, where are we going to start at? Um... In the last video, I left off finishing the final pie. Uh, just for a quick recap, there is a total of 123 in here currently. There will be 124 once the mother is put here. Uh, the mother will basically be uh, the source for all the mining data, for all of the um, mining you know basically software wallet address and whatnot so instead of programming each individual pie uh though the pie is written in a script way my uh, nephew kyle has put it in a way that it checks as on boot to a main master folder which is held on the mother and that master folder contains the mining software uh, the wallet address and the other information uh, that you know the miner needs so that I can update the wallet address or I could update the miner let's say that a, a new miner comes out and we just have to change it to one location and all of them will automatically update so it's currently working and uh, we just got to hopefully that all of this works together simultaneously so let's see time to get wiring I hope this is as easy as I said it was in the last video I already have a feeling it's not going to be. Nothing's been easy. Yeah, unfortunately, you guys can't really see this in this video. Camera angle is very difficult, but it is extremely tight. And what you can see is right here is where I need to plug it in um, usually I start at the bottom work my way up which will be not too bad but I'm really worried about getting this top one into place so let's check something Okay, it's doable. It is doable. Great. I can use all the same USB cables. I was really hoping I was not going to have to use uh, one of these other sets, just, you know, the straight instead of the angled. So, I think what I need to do now is rearrange my wire nest.
guys it's super late and I've gotten very far as you can see and I gotta go take a shower and go to bed I'm gonna work on this wire nest again tomorrow but I'm so close and so excited it's like I don't even know how I'm gonna sleep to be honest with you but it's just five o'clock in the morning time to take a shower and lay down I'll be lucky if I get to even lay down before the sun comes up but hopefully uh, the adrenaline will wear off and I'll be able to crash and knock this out tomorrow but the rest of this should be pretty easy. Just got to take these lines here, swing them back, take these power lines, swing them back, swing them in, start plugging in the USBs. Uh, all these, these groups in the front will come straight out and then they'll go down. I'll use more, probably one of those brackets to help with that. And yeah, start plugging this bad boy in and turn it on and she, that's it, she'll run. So we're so close. Oh, so very, very close. But uh, got to get some sleep. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.
I mean, when you have um, some MEV that miners are competing for in a block and it gets to be really huge, it can make sense economically for other miners to compete for that and start to try to roll back blocks. Last week's $320 million crypto heist from the Wormhole Network is being called the fourth biggest crypto hack of all. There is so much more that we as humans need mm. from a decentralized protocol than just a single ledger. Imagine a worldwide network as scalable and as, as accessible as today's internet, capable of processing financial transactions in dollars, euros, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all major currencies, even custom currencies or auto rebalancing multi-currency baskets defined by any organization or individual. This network is not run by any single company or government. Instead, it's a network of independent networks. You can actually, in our protocol, you can go from one chain to another chain and to another chain, or one chain to another chain and back. You can actually do multiple hops. The only blockchain with self-sovereign, revocable, recoverable, and interoperable addresses and identities built into the core protocol. And people ask me this question, you know, uh -huh. how does that work? You must have a hierarchy, you must have, right? right? right. But we don't. All of these things were created by people who just stepped up and other people from the community wow. who just stepped up wow. and said, okay, you're gonna do that and I'm gonna help you and you're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. And you know, everyone is welcome to come join the community and help make this a reality. I look forward to seeing you around the Veris community and thank you for your time. We are just at the point where every single thing that we um, described in our vision paper mm -hmm. four years ago is done. Yeah.